menu and meal planning for week three of the 2023 Three Rivers Pantry Freezer Challenge. Hey friends, welcome to Carrie's Culinary Crafts where we talk all things food. And we have another meal plan for this week um, for the 2023 Freezer Pantry Challenge. And I just did uh, the tours of my freezers, like the quick before and after. So hopefully you saw that. If not, I will, I will definitely put an iCard up here or um, attach the video at the end. Uh, so take a look at that if you haven't seen it. Um, and I grabbed some stuff from the freezers and my pantries that I wanted to use up this week. Plus I have a reminder list of myself because I keep forgetting about things that I wanna use up. Here is what I brought up from the freezer that I wanna take care of this week. I brought a whole bunch of chicken. Um, as you can see, these are all chicken thighs. 10 thighs, seven boneless chicken thighs. Um, these are from 422. I bought them the, when they were on sale for 99 cents a pound. I went and I bought a whole bunch and this is what's left. So I am gonna go ahead and can this stuff up. Um, if there's something that I don't use, like there are three chicken breasts here. I think I might use those for dinner this week. You know what? Sounds like a good idea. So like I'll use those and then I'll go ahead and can this up. And then I grabbed one of my crates of bacon. So all of this bacon here. Most of them are one pound packs. There are, are a couple um, bigger ones, 24 ounce packs. And and I might have some in the, do I have any in the freezer up here? I'm not sure if I have any in the freezer up here as well. Um, I will leave two in the uh, freezer for in case I want to need to cook something fresh but the majority of this stuff I'm going to I'm going to cook it up a lot of it I'm going to can and a lot of it I'm just going to um cook and then wrap in paper towels and put it in a bag and stick it in the freezer so it's it's already made bacon that we can grab for a quick breakfast like when my son sometimes makes himself some breakfast in the morning and he does like to have meat along with eggs. So he can just grab like three, four pieces of bacon that's already cooked and just heat it up in the pan with him with his eggs. So I will have some of that convenient bacon cooked up. Uh, this here is just a whole bunch of hamburger patties. I want to, I'm going to make these up probably tomorrow. And that takes a big space out of my freezer down there. So that uh, is the freezer stuff that I have to work work with. So I did take quite a bit out of the meat freezer, which I am pleased about. Um, and I'll probably have to grab some stuff out of the other freezer, like my buns are in there. I So I'll be able to grab the buns out and maybe a couple other things I might need from from there. But this gives me a good basis to start this next week with meal planning and things that I'm going to do this week. So, um, hope you hit that subscribe button and you'll see me can up and prepare some of this bacon and these chicken thighs. We'll make some, we'll can up some chicken. And yeah. Got a lot of things planned for this week. I hope you'll come along. Hit that subscribe button and click the little bell, the ding-a-ling-a-ling, -a -ling, so it'll let you know whenever um, I have a new video that comes out. And lately they've been coming out every day at nine o'clock. I don't know for how long that that's gonna continue, but as of right now, they are coming out every day at 9 a.m. So in for the list of things that I 
need to use this week that I pulled from my pantry and my freezers. Um, I pulled burgers, I pulled uh, chicken breasts and chicken thighs. Got another jar of beans here that I have to use. These are kidney beans from, see that? Yeah, you see that? Eight, 14? Yeah, so, I mean, it's a solid seal. I'm gonna open it up and, you know, of course, give it the sniff test and everything and gonna use very old jar of beans here. Um, I still have some salad greens. I need, they're still looking really good. So I've been trying to hold off as long as I possibly can on them. Um, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to use those up this week. Uh, I found a half of a container of oyster crackers. Um, stick with me for that because I saw a video from, um, I saw a video the other day from Nessa and she did, uh, she did these seasoned oyster crackers that looked really, really good. And I have those oyster crackers in there that instead of them going stale, I might as well do something with them and make them into a yummy treat, right? Well, not really a treat, a uh, um, snack. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll bring you along when I do that that video. And I'll make sure that I, um, I tag the appropriate people whenever I do that. So you can go check her out if you wanna see her video of her doing it. Um, and I also still have a bag and a half of those bang corn tortillas, those, the small little corn tortillas. I made uh, several Mexican lasagnas last week, but I still have more. So I've, I've already thawed them. They were already in the freezer, so I need to use them up this week. So those are the things that I need to use up. Now I have a list of other things here that I just need to like keep out there so it reminds me that I need to use them up. See, I already forgot all last week. I forgot all about those condiments again. So I have that on the top of my list here. Those condiment packets, I got to use them up. Um, and I have, there's one veggie stock that I have left. It's just a pint, but it's from 2020. Now this other case of uh, stock that I have is from 2021. So, uh, but I have one left from 2020. So I wanna try and get that used up this week. Um, in my upstairs freezer, I have the frozen fruits and veggies that I want to get used up. You would think if a freezer is in your kitchen, you would utilize it more. I don't. I don't think about it. All I think of is deep freeze. So I need to start using that stuff in there. Um, there's stuff that's been in there for a very long time. There are berries that are in there that was from my in-laws property last year. I need to get them used up. So we're gonna work on that. Um, I have beans on here because I have several beans on that bottom shelf down there of the stuff that I need to get used up. So it's just a reminder, uh, the beets and chickpeas, I have those on the bottom shelf down there. And um, something I don't use very often, and it's not that I don't like it because I do. I just, I, I don't think about it, is like my jams and jellies and stuff. Um, I love oatmeal, and especially in the winter time. I mean, I could make like overnight oatmeal or something and use up some of my jams and jellies. You know, those are from fresh fruits. So mix that in with some oatmeal, be pretty awesome. So. I need to get that on my radar too, to think about using up the jams and jellies. Now, I, in summertime, I use a lot of the syrups and jams and stuff to make um, salad dressings, but you can do more than just have it salad dressings and spread on toast. You know, there's other things we can do with it. I just need to, to think about it. Um, and the last thing I have on here is in the fridge, I still have a half a jar of pickled veggies, plus I have another jar on that bottom shelf of pickled veggies. They're really good. Um, I just made a whole bunch of them 
and we just never got through them. So I want to try and, and get through those because I will probably be making some more this year. I haven't made any in several years because I had so many. And that is what is on that list. So with that, I need to go ahead and make a meal plan. Now, the first thing I do when I make my meal plan is I write down any things that are going on this week, any baseball practices, any events, anything like that. Um, and we have the standard Tuesday and Wednesday is our baseball nights. Sunday nights are baseball nights. There's two practices tonight really late. There's one from 6 to 8 and then one from 8 to 9.30. So that's tonight. Then Tuesday, I believe that Tuesday is a 6. Let me look at last week and then I'll know. Okay, Tuesdays are 6.30. So we can still have dinner at normal time because we normally eat at 5.30. So practice is 6.30 and then Wednesdays, the practice is at 5.45. And that's when I got to do something different. Either I got to have something either ready early or, or something. So let's see, Thursday, I don't think there's anything Thursday, Friday, I have, I have an appointment at 11. Um, I don't think there's anything going on. Thursday, Wednesday, my husband has a standard lunch meeting. Happens every week. Okay. So as far as I know, that is all I have. There's no orthodontist appointments. Oh, I may have... Uh, but that'll be in the morning, so that won't matter. Okay, so anyway, let's get on with the menu here. Okay, Monday, I want to use um, those burgers. I brought up those burger patties. So I'm going to use up burgers. And I have half a bag of those tater tots in there that I want to use those up. that were left over from like the tater tot casserole that I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those up. And those will, there's probably just enough for my son there. So my husband and I will probably just have a side salad with our burgers. Okay, then Tuesday for Taco Tuesday. Okay, we have those corn tortillas, a lot of them. I don't want to make a Mexican lasagna again, although it's delicious. And But we just had it last week. Chicken. Taquitos. We all like taquitos. I'm going to make chicken and cheese taquitos. Chicken and cheese taquitos. Okay, and then I will make a side of refried beans, but I will use these kidney beans. Refried beans. Okay, that works. Okay, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Now this is the meeting I'm gonna have to or the day I'm gonna to have to figure out. Let's 
See, that Wednesday would be a perfect day for the taquitos because they could be grab and go and I could just make them. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to come back to Wednesday. Always have to come back to Wednesday. Okay, so what else do I, I have chicken breasts and they are three gigantic chicken breasts. So what I'm gonna do is like slice them long ways, open them up and then I will have six normal size chicken breasts. And I will make that into chicken Parmesan. And that'll be Thursday, cause that'll be the time, that'll be when my son comes home. And that will be an awesome dinner. Chicken Parmesan. And just as I said, my son, he just beeped me on my watch to say that he got home. He went traveling back to college. So he got home. Okay, chicken parmesan with pasta. You know what? With pasta, I can utilize all those. Now I'll probably have the... I don't, okay, if I have them left, I will use all those ready pasta bags that are up there that expired like a month or two ago or something like that because I think I have like five bags up there. That would be enough for all of us because like each bag is a serving. So if I don't use those during lunch this week, then I will use them with the chicken Parmesan Friday or Thursday. If I, do, if I don't need to use them, then I'll just cook pasta. Okay, so chicken parmesan and pasta Thursday, Friday, Friday, Friday. Friday is usually fun food Friday. What do I have to do? See, I usually, that's when I usually make like homemade pizzas or I can do strombolis again those were a huge hit i could always do strombolis for my husband and son they love them now you know what i think i'm gonna do some friday i am going to do chicken bacon ranch wraps that still fits into Fun Food Friday. Chicken, bacon, ranch, wraps. And then Saturday is usually you're on your own or I put a whole bunch of food out on the on the table. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Wednesday. Wednesday is the day I'm making le uh, is the leftover night. That's right. Leftovers cuz we will have burgers cuz I'm going to be making a dozen burgers and there's only 3 of us having the burgers. So there will be leftover. So I'll have leftover burgers and may have or may not, who knows, have any um taquitos left over. Probably not. My son and my son and husband can finish off a lot of taquitos, but if we have some, then we'll have burgers and taquitos. If not, there will be refried beans left over, and then also, if I need to, I can make um, salad. So that's perfect for Wednesday. Okay. Saturday is you're on your own or I will set out set out things. 
Sundays there are two practices, six to eight, eight to nine thirty. So I will need to have something that day, that afternoon, but it's gonna have to be something light. I think I'll just wing it that night. Yep, I'll just play it by ear because my son will be going back. Sundays are just a little bit, are a little bit crazy. So I'll wing it on Saturday. I can do, or Sunday, I mean. All right, so there we go. There is my meal plan for this coming week. Monday, burgers, tater tots. Taco Tuesday, we're going to do chicken and cheese taquitos with some refried beans. Wednesday is leftover night. Thursday will be chicken parmesan with pasta. Friday is chicken bacon ranch wraps. Saturday, I'll either do a charcuterie table or you're on your own. It probably is just gonna be me and my husband here that day. So I'm not that concerned. And Sunday, we will play by ear. And there you go. Menu plan doesn't need to be that hard. Just go pick some things and build your menu around those things that you pick out. All right. Until next time, Carrie's Culinary Crafts. Bye, friends.